Thanks for viewing my second starship painting guide. These are Ninja Magic starships. They're from the faction called the Junila, which are an alien race. They're intended to be used with the With Hostile Intent rules available from ninjamagic.com. I painted on the base undercoat because a spray wouldn't get into other tiny little nooks and crannies on there. It doesn't take long to just use a dark neutral colour like a dark grey. I had a sort of dark purplish grey which I used on here. When painting starships and figures at this scale I tend to use a dark grey undercoat rather than black. I'm now painting on the base coat which is troll blood base colour from Privateer Press. It's thinned down with the Privateer Press mixing medium as well, P3 mixing medium, which uh, along with some water means it goes on very thin, very lightly, and you can see there it needs kind of a couple of coats really to get it on really smoothly. I'm painting three ships at once here, so you'll see me jumping between the three different models as I paint. I'm getting into some of the tiny details here around the edging and just making sure I do a clean job of uh, keeping it up into the edge. I'm using a bit of a fat brush there, that's um, probably a three or a four, but it comes down to a quite a nice point. That paint's going on a little too thin there, so I probably need to thicken that up. That's the base coat there, finished on all of the models. This is the Privateer Press P3 mixing medium being dropped onto the wet palette. Drop. And once that's done, I'll mix in with the darker shade and the troll blood base to make a sort of a tone for the shaded areas on the figures. So you can see here I'm just going into any recesses, any darkened areas around the edges of those back plates, just with that darker colour. I'm not being too tidy because I'm going to tidy up afterwards by using the base colour again to sharpen up the edges. Underneath the ships I'm never too worried about really, you're not going to see those very much when you're gaming, but I do sort of tend to put a darker shade down there anyway. This is the larger Dallasin class carrier, drone carrier to be exact. And uh, you can see underneath I'm adding in those dark shades again. Um, it's going on really thin because I've used a lot of the P3 mixing medium, which means it goes on almost like a wash in there. Um, so you can make a few mistakes again, doesn't matter too much because it's on so thin. That's the uh, dark shading tone complete on all the three ships. This is me just going back over with the troll blood base again. Um, really just to tidy up. So it's the same tone again, but just making sure that uh, I go neatly into any of those corners where I've put the dark shade. It just blends it in a bit. This is the lighter shade now, the underbelly blue, mixing in with the troll blood base and a bit of P3 mixing medium again just to create a highlighted shade. So this is your traditional panelling work where you go up to the edges and use the lighter shade just along the rim there. The Junla race make their ships planet side and then launch them, which is why these guys look like little rockets. I think the detailing is superb on the engine components. I decided to go with a, a silvery effect on the engine area, which I did by using a dry brush. I dry brushed on the Privateer Press Cold Steel. 
which is done by just simply using a quite a large brush, quite a dry one, and um, and then rubbing off most of the paint on a bit of tissue before you then dry brush onto those engine components. I then splashed on some of the Badab Black ink from Games Workshop. It just does a nice job of toning down the silver and gets into all the recesses. Whoops, I made a little mistake there. I just use my delicate fat thumb to rub it off. And then once that badad black is dried, I just use the silver again to do a very light dry brush. It just picks out the details again. I made a totally random decision to use red to pick out the details. I could have used a sort of a somber grey or something, but uh, I like the idea of going with a red colour. So this is Scorn Red. Once the Scorn Red is dry and complete on every ship, I use some of the Griffin Sepia from Games Workshop just to wash over all the red areas which just gives them a bit of depth of colour and shade. I then highlighted the red parts by using Cygnus Yellow mixed in with the Scorn Red which just gave it that sort of hot edging which I'm doing there. Um, taking the fine brush to it just to pick out the tiny details on the edge panels. Just on the larger Dallas in class interception carrier, I've used Signal Blue Base on these extra detail areas on the top of the ship. I then highlighted that up with the Troll Blood Base. It looks quite dark as it's going on, but if I highlight it up with the Trollblood uh, colours, it'll keep in theme with the rest of the ship. I'm into the final stages where I'm just picking out some of the interior details. Now I'm just doing some final white dots onto the corners of some of the components, just kind of randomly picking areas to uh, drop the smallest amount of white paint. Just a handy way to highlight that brings them into focus a bit. I use the Villaggio acrylic based matte varnish, a uh, massive brush, quite wet, and then just sort of splash it all over. Um, you can see here as it goes on, it goes on quite sort of glossy, but it does dry matte. And I normally do about three coats of that. Once dry, that's the painting done. And uh, these are just some still photos of the various paint stages, which you can pause and view at your leisure. In the Junilar background, they tend to retrofit their old rocket ships. So they have a tendency to add on bigger engines. Uh, bolt in extra electronics and components and weaponry which uh, fits quite nice with this style of rocket ship uh, that Ninja Magic have created here. The larger ship, which is the Dallison drone carrier, is intended to be launched planet side, rocket style, burn into orbit and launch the ISM-90 drone fighters in planetary defence. You can see the drone fighter bays along the side of the hull. <laughs> 